Hey guys, I'm your host Random Guy One Two Three Four Five, and today we are going to be talking about Star Platinum from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. If you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you don't miss out on our latest videos. With that out of the way, let's begin, shall we? Before starting, what is a stand? A stand is the visual manifestation of life energy. A stand is an entity physically generated by its owner, referred to as a stand user. It generally presents itself as a figure hovering over or near the user and possesses abilities beyond that of an ordinary human, which, depending on the stand user, can be wielded for good or for evil. Star Platinum is the stand of Kujo Jodro. It's one of the first stands introduced in the series, and it is featured along with Jodro in three parts, most prominently in Stardust Crusaders. Star Platinum is a close-range stand with a basic reach of only two meters from Jotaro's body, but with incredible strength, speed, and precision. It is one of the most powerful stands featured in the series. Its overwhelming physical prowess in every basic characteristic, safe for range, coupled with Jotaro's own cleverness in combat, allows Jotaro to repeatedly prevail against many stand users, even without the usage of any special ability. In addition, Jodro's discovery of its time-stopping ability only made it all the more formidable in combat. During the final battle with Dio in Stardust Crusaders, Star Platinum awakens the ability to stop time. This technique is referred to by Jodro as Star Platinum: The World. In Jodro's prime, the ability lasted five seconds but decreased over time due to neglect from his user. Ten years after its initial use, Jodro is only able to stop time for half a second. But it eventually extends to one to two seconds during the later half of Diamond is Unbreakable. When activated, Star Platinum is able to halt the flow of time for a brief moment, causing everything around him to appear frozen in place. During this time lapse, Jotaro is able to interact with any person or object within his range. Measures of time during time stop correspond to normal measures, as shown by. Jotaro's unwilling reduction in the duration of time stop affected by Made in Heaven. He is unable to use the ability consecutively, requiring a few seconds in between each usage. In Stone Ocean, the stand is given the official name Star Platinum the World, as well as stats that differ from the original Star Platinum. Despite a significant downgrade to the stand's persistence, Jotaro increases the duration of the time stop from two seconds back to its original five seconds. During the face off at Cape Canaveral, so let's talk about Zavardo's or the world's origin and how it was able to stop time. Dio's time stop improved after he practiced with it for almost six months and after his scar healed, after discovering the time stop ability of the world. Now this is where the theory begins. How strong would Star Platinum's time stop be if Jodoro practiced with it? So the gap between Stardust Crusaders and Diamond is Unbreakable is ten years. So if the world's time stop went from half a second to five seconds in six months, doing the math for Star Platinum using this info is Star Platinum would be able to stop time for at least thirty minutes with a practice worth of ten years. Now this would make Star Platinum extremely overpowered, and it would make Jotaro's battles really short, like his battles against the Rat and Yoshikage Kira. This will only make the series not only short and less nail biting as before, but Jotaro shouldn't have at least not neglected this ability as it is one of his biggest assets. Anime review. So today we are going to be talking about a rather underrated anime, Assassination Classroom. Assassination Classroom is a Japanese science fiction comedy manga series written and illustrated by Yusei Matsui. Not too serious, not too light. Assassination Classroom finds an endearing middle with between dire situations and humorous crew. For those who want action and a bit of tension without being brought down, this is a comedy that's certainly worth the watch. You can watch it on major platforms like Crunchyroll and Netflix. So that is it for today's episode, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and turn on post notifications so that you don't miss out on our latest videos. Before ending, would like to thank all the health workers working on the front lines 24 by 7 to protect us from this pandemic. Stay home, stay safe, and remember, go beyond plus ultra.